My grandfather was uh, one of the most important people in my life. And this show was actually a, a piece of one of his best memories. What was so interesting, uh, there he is. Um, I still can't believe he's gone. You guys surprised me right there with my grandpa and it was one of the best memories he ever had. I remember that show well, Dr. Mike, and uh, meeting your brother and your grandfather. I know very emotional, uh, yeah. very powerful, and I could tell how excited he was. He was. And Dr. Mike, these are the memories that are so important to us. It's so beautiful to hear that. This was a really important memory to your grandfather as well, but we're all dealing with grief in different ways. Um, you have lost one of the most important people in your life, and that's profound. But even for people who are lucky enough that they haven't lost a loved one, it's still grieving our past. You know, this is completely changing this entire generation and how we live and connect with one another. And I feel like that deserves to be discussed more. People are kind of carrying on as if they're supposed to be doing everything that they're still expected to do. But when you lose a loved one and when you really feel that loss for yourself personally, it really brings a whole other dimension to just how we approach life in general and what we should be doing with people when they are still here with us. You're so right, Dr. Judy. And it so reminded me of just how important connection is. Yes. You know, all the things that we take for granted, you know, we all, we all know it, you know, we all know we should exercise. We all know we should talk to people and be vulnerable and spend time with our families. And when it's taken away from us, sometimes, you know, I, I know myself, I thought, oh, wow, this is why, this is why it's important. And, you know, we all know that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And, and so, especially I think when it comes to mental health, because, you know, listen, when somebody's already in a depressive episode, you know, Dr. Judy, it's so hard to interrupt it. It's a lot easier to prevent it. You know, depressive episodes, they can all be treated, but you have to be patient once you're already in it. So. You know, isn't it so interesting that I think the one thing that I'm taking away is, wow, it is so important for all of us to go back to the basics, family, love, health, exercise, good nutrition, all of these things that sort of make up a life. And I, I am really hopeful and I, I am really excited to, to actually see my family. We've decided to uh, hold off on the funeral until the summer, but I can't wait to actually have that face-to-face -face interaction um, with my family, you know, it, it's so needed. And, and it's so hard to have some of those things like a funeral be put on hold to not be able to see each other um, after a loss. And, you know, I, again, not the only person dealing with this. Well, it's so important we're having this discussion and uh, we're being isolated, but as you emphasize, Dr. Mike, we have to connect and it can start with, with something as simple as, how are you doing today? How are you feeling today? You don't have to have a PhD in psychology <laughs> to reach out. I mean, that that's the most simple form of therapy. Some people are in need of, of more uh, intense therapy. So to you, Dr. Judy, for those who may be apprehensive about actually starting real therapy that's warranted, what do you suggest? Well, first of all, I understand stigma is very real. People have all kinds of negative self perceptions about the fact that maybe quote unquote, they're not strong enough to not experience these symptoms, but that's not the way that it works. And I hope that people can start to have this conversation, normalize it. This is what we're doing here. And I'm so thankful for this platform to be able to talk about this because there's no shame in asking for professional help and we all need it sometimes. And so, for people who are apprehensive, I say, just take a deep breath and think about the things that you value most in life, whether that is community, education, adventure, spirituality, whatever it is, if you're experiencing symptoms that's holding you back from being able to approach those things that are the most important for you in this value life, don't hesitate to ask for help. It's just a little bit more lessons in coping skills. We're all going through it. This is a pandemic. This is a worldwide crisis. So don't be afraid to reach out. And if you need to talk to a family member, say, I'm feeling a little reticent about doing this. They'll be able to help. They'll support you and they'll give you the encouragement you need to get the treatment that you deserve. Such important tips. Great stuff, Dr. Judy and uh, Dr. Mike. Thanks again, all your insight.